I just want to have a chance to share with you today a thought that the play, Lord placed on my heart regarding a matter that challenges us every day. And that is the idea of selfishness. That's what Jesus uh, is, is described as and what Paul said in Philippians chapter 2. He said, Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind let each one of us regard one another as more important than himself. He goes on and says, and to have this attitude in yourself that was in Christ Jesus. Jesus was totally, absolutely selfless. But when I think about my life, or our lives, many times we have a lot of selfishness. So I want to recommend three things to you that, that I try to practice in my life that helps me to overcome a self-centered life. The first of those things is this. I want to encourage you to pray and to specifically to pray for other people. It's called intercession. I know a lot of times in our prayer life, we're going to talk about us, our needs, our families, those in our circle. But I want to ask you to expand that prayer ministry and, and to pray for other people. For see, whenever you pray for other people and you intercede for other people, you're taking your mind off yourself. You're taking your cares uh, that are focused on you away from you and placing it on somebody else. And, and in those moments, whenever you pray, in that time, you are being selfless because you're focused on somebody else. One of the reasons that I participate in our intercessory prayer ministry here at Parker is that in that one hour, I can go in at least one hour a week and I can pray for other people and I can intercede on their behalf. And I know in that one hour that for that moment, and at least, I'm not selfish. A second thing, I want to encourage you to give. You know, giving is, uh, is something that God wants us to do. He encourages us to give. But giving also is helping us to not be selfish. A lot of times when we, in our lives, the money we have and the things that God's given to us, resources, are all focused on us and ours and what we have and what we want. But whenever we will go and we will give to someone else, give of money, give of those resources, to give to somebody else, we are selfless. And my giving, either through the church or to individuals or to ministries, helps me not to build my life around myself or my family, but to actually focus on somebody else and to be able to give to them. A third thing, very simple, is I want you to serve somebody. Yes, we're called to be servants. Yes, it's a challenge to serve. But if we go and serve, we're focusing on somebody else, not ourselves. And if you look around you, you can find people who need to be served. You'll find people who are hurting, who need to have somebody to come along and encourage them and lift them up. There are people who are doing worthwhile projects that whenever you would go and join that, you're helping to benefit their ministry and the kingdom. And it's you doing something through service. Service is so very important to keep us from being selfish. Now, challenge in my heart, challenge in my life, is to be selfless and to not do anything out of self-centeredness. And three things, as I've said, who help, that help me to do that, to accomplish that in a practical way. Pray for others, give, and serve. And if you'll take those three things and focus on those three things and apply those three things in your life, you'll find out that it'll help you in that area of self-centeredness so that we might be more like Jesus, a humble spirit looking out for the interest of others. And I know as a disciple of Jesus, you like me, we want to be more like Jesus each day. God bless you.